Prescription. No, God. Could you go out later? We'll be able to sleep. I can't. Why not? Oh well, I was planning on going out. Careful. I'll get your clothes. Thanks, Kath. Did you talk to the landlord? Uh, yes. We talked. Alright. Will he sort us the exorcism? He said he'd be busy. He said he'd come last week. Oh, we can't expect him to find time. You were a big way in our like that for a month. What sort of kind of him? Don't smudge the chalk. Did you get any work done? No. Just did some more sketches. How about sleep? Did you get any of that done? But I found a story of a bloke in America who made the same deal as me. He got out of it by performing an exorcism with a goat. That way, the curse was put onto the goat, freeing him. So you spent a day looking at dodgy articles then? That's cool. It's close to figuring this out, actually. Sure. What happened to the goat? It died. You should open some windows. You'll feel better. Can you do it? I can't. Yeah. I know you can't, Milo. This has been made abundantly clear to me this past month when you decided that suddenly you can't leave a chalk circle you drew for fear of getting killed by a demon. This isn't funny. Yeah, you're right. It isn't. It really, really isn't. In fact, I agree with you now. It's actually quite scary. I know. That's why I need that exorcist. 
Then I can leave the circle. Finishing your picture. I'm not coming back tonight. Why are you doing this to me? One month, Milo. At first, I thought you were joking. But now, you really need to speak to someone. There's nothing wrong with me. If I step outside the circle, I will die. Really? So if you step out right now, your heart will stop, will it? You'd explode into a million pieces, would you? Come off it. It would work like that. Be more indirect. Like manslaughter. You could have just broken up with me, you know? You didn't have to play this sick joke. This isn't a joke. Thank you.